Hi and welcome back to TRX Bench. Well, you know that we are still working here on our IC703 and uh, you know we have a PLL problem and uh, we swapped out here uh, our main uh, PLL uh, ship and unfortunately after uh, that we had a huge short here on uh, this area which uh, was not uh, before we uh, put the new ship in so uh, we assume that uh, there is a serious short on the layer on one layer here in the PCB so this uh, is really a uh, tricky but anyways, we uh, can go ahead because a very nice viewer here uh, of uh, my uh, channel donated a new, or not a new, uh, used but working uh, PLL board here for our 706 and uh, this it is possible to get uh, this radio fixed and uh, I have to uh, thank you once again, John, because he's a, a kind guy who donated uh, this uh, board uh, to us and uh, therefore I'm now able to fix the radio here from um, uh, old man here and uh, yeah, so that is uh, really nice uh, if you get uh, help uh, out uh, of the field so you see ham spirit is uh, still there and uh, John lives in the United States so uh, the board came uh, all over uh, to us here and uh, well now we really can go ahead once again thank you very much John okay so let's uh, see what uh, we have here And here it is. So a pretty nice looking PLL uh, board looks like new. Uh, John told me that uh, there is somewhere um, a diode which uh, he had to, to swap in but uh, it was not the original one so that uh, must be this here and uh, I can easily... he said uh, it, it works but uh, we can uh, of course uh, put uh, the original one in because uh, of course here on uh, the old board uh, we, we have uh, the original one here and uh, yeah that is uh, this little diode over here and uh, John put uh, this one in uh, which uh, is a bit uh, too large uh, for this uh, purpose but anyway it uh, uh, worked uh, but um, uh, only because I can I uh, swap it out because uh, I have the original diode which uh, is in uh, otherwise I would uh, leave it in uh, but well because I have it, uh, let's swap it in and uh, then um, we uh, can put the new board here into the radio and uh, yeah, we will then hopefully have uh, a happy ham radio operator uh, who will get the radio back. All right, so board is in, everything uh, is prepared uh, for uh, testing so yeah let's uh, fire up here um, my uh, let me see that we can get here all on the view so let me switch uh, on here my power supply and yeah let me connect here power to the power supply okay 
And the second one, which is ground, of course. So everything is connected. Okay, so and let's uh, see if uh, we are unlucky or lucky. And I'm sure we are lucky. Oh, let's see. Hey, that is looking quite nice. Very, very nice. So it is back working very nice. So let me uh, see what is uh, the power consumption. It is uh, 1.2 uh, um, amps, which looks pretty normal. So therefore, um, this is uh, no problem. I fear. Ah, okay, so it is switching off because here we have a problem with this connector. So that is no problem. It is only the connector. So when I'm moving it here, so it is not the radio. Very good. Okay, so that means um, it looks pretty nice. Now what I have to do is uh, to check uh, if the receiver works and if the transmitter works. Therefore I will uh, put here the lid on uh, that I can better operate uh, the radio. Alright, and I went uh, through all the bands and uh, it is working on any band, so no problem whatsoever. Radio is receiving just fine, so I uh, do not uh, go down here now on all the different um, on, on, on all the different uh, bands and uh, settings. Uh, let me uh, say that uh, I've tested it um, everywhere and uh, it is working just fine. So no problems whatsoever. So looking really good. Okay, and uh, I'm now testing uh, the transmitter and uh, I've set it uh, to FM just uh, to get uh, finally a clear uh, power output. Yeah, I've repositioned repos the camera a little bit. Uh, as I said, full power and uh, it is set to FM and it is putting uh, 109 watt out. So that is uh, just fine. And our power consumption is uh, 15 amps. So that is uh, looking uh, just fine. So uh, everything uh, is uh, normal here. And let's see if it is uh, working on uh, SSB as well. Okay, without modulation it is clear, no power. And you see already, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, test, 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 audio, audio, one, two. And uh, you see uh, it is uh, working uh, just fine on SSB as well. So uh, now I go through all uh, the different bands and frequencies to be sure that it is working everywhere. And uh, yeah, so it's looking pretty good. All right, and uh, again, I've tested uh, everything. So it is uh, working on all bands and all frequencies. Uh, TX power is uh, available, so no problem whatsoever. Radio is just working fine. Okay, so everything is fine, radio is uh, working. I just uh, wanted to let you know that uh, we have now another happy ham and uh, so I do not need to extend uh, the video. Everything is tested. I put the lid on and uh, the radio goes back to the old man. Ah, okay. Thanks for watching and uh, thanks uh, for all your support and uh, 
ja, catch you next time. Bye.